Okay. I might have found somebody. Miss Helton. office hours from Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock a.m. to 4.30 p.m. If you know your party's 10 digit extension, you may enter it now. To access our employee directory by last name, press 1. For current. Miss Helton, Human name, Resources Coordinator. For Q, it's got to be her. For Z, press 9. For help, press 0. Okay. For Karen Holton at extension seven eight five three three eight nine three one six press pound to cancel press star. Okay, I've... what am I even gonna fucking say? I need, okay, I need to be really official. Hello, is this Karen Helton? Hello, this is Karen. Oh, perfect. Uh, I was given your number by Travis uh, Dieters. Uh, I'm calling because I have some questions regarding the employment practices at Frito-Lay. I was wondering if you're going to be the best person to talk to. Um, I can refer you to our website for our application. Um, oh, no. No, um, that's very kind of you, but actually it's quite a specific question. It's regarding the points system, and I wanted to know how many days you had to work in order to gain a day off. No, no, I'm not an employee. My name's Ricky Freeman. I'm calling from the UK. Uh, I just wanted to know what this thing is. It's something I've heard about recently. Okay, um, that's totally somebody. understandable. That's totally understandable. Okay. Uh, but you did say about the website. Is there maybe a different, maybe a corporate office or a number that might be more in a position to talk about this? Um, so we have our, we have our, our application website where you would apply to our position. Um, but if you're needing to speak to somebody regarding our specific policies, yeah. um, it's it is varies from plant to plant location, so we have different. It, it varies from different plant to plant. Oh, okay. Location. Oh, okay, yeah, because the the reason for my call is because I saw one of the videos that are going out online in which this points thing was uh, was suggested. So you're saying that it is only specific to the Topeka store? Each plant has their different attendance control policy. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, right. So there's no number of somebody else, because I spoke to Travis, uh, and he said the employment division was the best to speak to, but then told me that there was no employment division. So uh, I was a bit confused by that. Um, is there any, anybody else, maybe a bit higher up the, the food can chain? You, can you hold for a moment? Yeah, absolutely, no problem. Okay, so we're getting through to someone. I don't even know what I'm saying, but there is a thing about points, so uh, she seems to know what I'm talking about. So exciting! Just gotta make sure I unmute. <laughs> so exciting! So the reason I'm doing this is because I found an app where I can call the United States for free and I have a VPN so that I can do that as well. So what I've been doing is just like as I go through the internet and I find things that are going on in America that kind of maybe I want to know a bit more information about, I'm just starting to ring people in America to do it. So it started off just ringing Amazon's customer service number to see what was going on with Jess Bezos, Bezos in space and to see if he was going to stay there and I spoke to a really lovely woman who was gave me all the information I need she was obviously just 
reading news articles on the internet, but I just made out that I didn't have any access to the internet. I just heard that there were some rich people in space. Fuck, can you tell them my heart's <laughs> kind of racing? Because I'm not doing anything illegal here, that's the thing. And I did ring a police station once, um, but it's kind of like not really the thing that I want to get into because they're, you know, they can, even if I'm just doing it as a concerned person, I think it can get a bit, um, yeah, you don't really want to mess with the police there. But when I did ring one police station, uh, Idaho Springs, about um, an incident went that went on and a guy um, tasered like a 75 year old if I if I ever put this on YouTube I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description for that um, when I rang there the like police chief spoke to me and said that he was very outraged at the uh, that well I didn't, he wasn't outraged but he just knew that it was bad and that the guy had been fired so that's all the uh, information that he had um, while she has me on hold I might want to Okay, so this is all the information I've had. I've got something just on a news website that I found here. Um, Frito-Lay workers have had enough of the company's unfair and destructive management that has caused them to work 12-hour shifts seven days a week. They decided to do something about it. In order to put an end to mandatory overtime, a wayward point system... Pardon me. ...and 84 hours weeks that destroy lives, hundreds of employees are walking picket lines. According to several workers in Topeka, I couldn't even pronounce it properly, Topeka, Kansas, they have worked for five months without a single day off and earned one point on the table. They have to work for 31 days straight. So maybe I can ask if this includes weekends. She's still keeping me on hold here. Maybe I'll pause it. I think I can pause this video. Okay, so I've been on hold for 10 minutes now. I don't know if she's just trying to see if I hang up, but, you know, this call's free for me, so I'll pause you again and just carry on searching the internet for more information about Frito-Lay. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry for the wait. I'm trying to gather through you some uh, a communication number. Can you hold for just a moment, please? Yeah, sure, that's no problem. Thank you for so much. Okay, that was a nice, pleasant surprise. Uh, so she's trying to get me a number. And see, just by being a little concerned citizen, she's going around and she's worried about what I might do, maybe. So, I don't know. I'm not going to do fuck all with this. What can I do? <laughs> what I can do is kind of ring people. But she might be get me a number in which I can speak to somebody else. So, yeah, what the thing is, so I'm reading more about the news thing now. So it's because I've been on strike and they were going into like their third week of strikes. Um, the thing is, like some people have worked there for a long time who are going on strike. So this guy, Ron Sadler, he's been an employee there for 32 years. So like, it's been good at one time, apparently. Um, but now what they're complaining about, the union leaders are describing long hours, forced overtime, stagnating wages and diminished quality of life. Um, and it's a first strike in decades of operation. Um, so what I've heard a lot about is suicide shifts and a suicide side shift, a, sh a suicide shift is where an employee works a full eight hour day plus four hours of overtime. So what it means is that they don't really get time to go home or to see their family or to do anything else. And I believe, or even get a good night's sleep. And people have said, I don't know anything. I'm just a little guy on my computer. But people have said that people have committed suicide after being on shifts like that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna see. But this guy woman seems pretty nice. She's helping me. She's very apologetic. I don't know if you've got that little bit of a that little bit of thing there. Um so I'll pause you again and see what happens when she comes back. Okay, so it's, it's good I'm on mute, but still waiting for the, this woman to get back. Uh but Frito Lay released a statement uh, a couple of days ago on the 24th um, because the strike has ended so I'm a little bit late on this um, but what they say at all times we negotiated in good faith with union representatives to address the most pressing concerns raised regarding hours of work and overtime 
blah 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 blah. The new offer from Frito Lay provides a guaranteed day off during each work week, eliminates squeeze shifts, which are otherwise known as suicide shifts, and creates additional opportunities for the union to have input into staffing over overtime and offers four percent wage increases to employees in all job classifications over the two year contract. So they seem to have sorted stuff out, but this is what was still found me a number. So, um, you may uh, direct your questions to an email, Frito-Lay Media Services at Pepsico.com. Frito-Lay Media Services? At Pepsico.com. Uh, no hyphens or special characters? Um, nope. Perfect. Um, and one more question. So, yeah, uh, so I've just read that you have, they have finalised a little thing. Does that mean that you will get a 4% pay rise as well? You may direct all your questions to Frito-Lay Media Services. Well, if you did, if you did, then I hope it's, you re- I hope it's really good and you spend it on something really nice. Thank you so much for your help and have a wonderful rest of the day. Bitch hung up on me. I wanted to wish her well with her 4% pay rise. Did you get that? <laughs>